trade union in this country that is for the rights of people everywhere. People everywhere should be able to deliver the mail. Now, one thing that strikes me about this side of the street is the personal and deep dignity I feel over here. We don't need to scream, we don't need to yell, and it makes me think that maybe this is a tactic. And when you cannot have a position that you cannot defend, that's wrong, what, rather than accept it and create dialogue, you attack and you attack and you attack. We are here today because we will no longer accept these attacks in our country and in our communities and in our streets. We have the right to deliver mail, to believe in peace, and to believe in justice for all human beings, no matter who you are or where you come from. And so in that respect, we stand with this side of the street because we can see that future. We can see a future with dignity. We can see a future with a human spirit. And we can see a future where all human beings will be free to live as they wish in peace and respect. And we won't stop and we will not be quiet until Palestine is free. Because their example demonstrates to us a deep dignity in this world. That they are overcoming incredible atrocities. And this is going to end sooner or later. So we thank you from the bottom of my heart. We thank you. And you may wonder, you may wonder why you don't see any postal flags here today. Well, the fact is, is somebody phoned the Toronto local, I'm assuming somebody maybe from across the street, and told them it was cancelled last night. So they sent around messages saying it was cancelled. They were shocked to find out that it's still happening and send their love and support. And I believe a few members are on their way now. But it goes to show the depths the people that will not accept dialogue, peaceful communication, to build respect between each other, to bring human beings. And this is the future that we fight for here. So thank you very much, uh, sisters and brothers. Thank you very much. You inspire us all.